do you approach it? Yeah, I mean, you can't deny that we've been looking forward to this weekend, um, and you can't really ignore the hype either. Um, but we also know what we have to do, and you know, we're, we've been preparing this whole week to just go out there and control what we can control, and that's all we have to do. And I think it'll be a good weekend for us if we do that. I wasn't here last week, but I know Jay talked about your development you know, since being here. I guess from the player side, could you speak to that and just? Not the transformation, but really the, the, the next level that you're going to take. And maybe because of the resources that are now available to you and, and maybe the lessened load on, on the rest of your schedule. Yeah, for sure. I think all of that. Um, I think over the past few years, I think a lot of things have, have gone right for me and I've been around a lot of really great people that have helped me get better in a lot of different ways. Um, and I think that's become magnified here with all the resources we have, the sleep, nutrition, um, and recovery piece of it is, I think, the biggest piece. Um, and not to mention having Coach Johnson and Wes and um, all those people in, in positions to help us. It's, that's been the biggest difference, and it's, it's been really cool to, you know, to watch. Where, where do you think your velocity comes from? I mean, just watching on the mat, it looks very smooth, and it's not like you're overthrowing your arm or anything. Just where do you think a lot of your velocity comes from? Recently, I would say it's just been my sequencing, uh, my body learning how to move and moving right. Um, at the right times, um, which has been, that's kind of been my journey over the last couple of years with, with, you know, my velo jumps since I've gotten to college. But like I said, I think that's just been magnified since I've gotten here. I figured out some, some stuff that I need to do, um, you know, during the week and then, you know, in preparation and stuff I need to feel when I'm on the mound and all that stuff I think has contributed to it. Can you elaborate been... on, oh, yeah. sorry, your, like, what your schedule a typical day would look like during baseball season at Air Force? Because um, I know that you probably had like basic training in the morning or something. Uh, there wouldn't be a whole lot in the morning. Um, you'd have to wake up at probably 6.30. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you have formation in the hallways. Basically, just make sure that you stayed the night there and that you're alive. Um, kind of checking a box. And that's at 6.45 a.m. Um, and then breakfast, you'd eat that around 7. Classes start at 7.30. Um, go till about 11.30. Those are all in person. Um, you have lunch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you, mar you march to lunch, um, which is another box checking exercise, I think, to an, ex to an extent. Um, that's at 11.45, you eat lunch right after that. And you eat in your squadrons, uh, the Air Force feeds you, so it's, uh, it's a good time to eat with your, with your buddies, but it's, the food's a little bit better here. Um, and then after that, you go down to the you you might have a brief after lunch. Uh, go down to the field at two, stay there till six max, and then you go up and you do your homework. Um, so it's a little bit different dynamic here, uh, with how much time and and resources you have allotted to you. Do you feel like the things that like all the little things that you had to do at Air Force maybe like here not having those things maybe allows you to f like progress more on the baseball side? I would say so, and I think the biggest thing for that is just being able to recover throughout the week, um, because you you know you sleep well one night, you can show up and feel good the next day, and you can do more that day, and then you know you recover, and it, it's it's just a cycle that builds on it on itself, and you know over a long period of time that you could see noticeable in, improvements. Um, so you know you can say what, what you want about the resources and the coaching and all that, but. Literally just getting consistent sleep, I think, has been the biggest thing. Piggybacking off of her, just being able just to be a pitcher, that must have accelerated your growth like a thousand percent. Um, I think maybe a little bit, but I think more so just figuring out my process a little bit more um, and figuring out what I need to do to help my body feel good. Um, again, so that I can, you know, throw harder on a, a Monday, you know, in preparation for a Friday start. Um, just that kind of thing, just building on it throughout the week. What, what do you know about this Tennessee lineup, um, very heralded kind of group coming in offensively? Just what do you know about those guys? Um, they're a good team. Um, they're going to swing it. They, you know, put up some really good numbers last year, and um, obviously, you know, I paid a lot of attention to that last year. Um, and I know a couple of their players uh, from this summer and that kind of thing, and they're going to. You know, they're, they're going to be a good team that puts good at-bats together, and um, they're going to make it hard. Did they, did they recruit you at all last summer? They did. Did you get a chance to go on their visit? Or you just came here, right? Was that your own, is this your only visit, or did you go 
No, I, w I went to a few other schools. Too small of a ballpark. I'm sorry? Too small of a ballpark. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I don't think ours is very big either. <laughs> <laughs> Every pitcher says that. Yeah. Um, the amount of talent between the two teams, like projected first rounders, is that so like, you know, what do you think that says about playing somewhere like here and um, what's it like to get that opportunity? Yeah, that's why you come to LSU um, for a weekend like this, especially playing at, you know, Alex Box Stadium under the lights um, on a Thursday night. You know, you know, a lot of people are going to be watching that game just because of, you know, it's Tennessee versus LSU and then they know who's playing too. So um, really looking forward to it. And um, again, that's, that's, you know, the reason that you come to a school like this. Last week you, um, you walked two guys, I don't remember which inning, and it was kind of like your first like dose of adversity all season. Um, is it important to kind of have those moments so you know that you can overcome them? Um, yeah, I'd say so, but I'd say I'd, I've had a lot of that in the past, more than this year. I'm comfortable, you know, with any situation. Um, you know, that I get into on the mound and I'm comfortable that I'll be able to get out of it. Thanks, Thanks, Paul. Paul. Thanks Paul. Appreciate it.